in this video i will show you how to make a drone so i have four motors they are jmt motors i got them from redoco.com i will all package them so as you can see the difference between colors in their bolt so i have two of black nuts and two of silver nuts so how you can know a motor is a clockwise motor or anti clockwise motor the answer is simple just hold its upper nut then start rotating if the nut tights while rotating in the anti clockwise then it is anti clockwise motor and tights while rotating in the clockwise then it is a clockwise motor this tights while rotating in anti clockwise so this is a anti clockwise motor from this we can know that a motor is a clockwise motor or the anti clockwise motor so the silver are the anti clockwise motors and the black nuts are of clockwise motor i have jmt 30 mb asc they can operate on four cell and has three wires for the motor and the black and red wire for the power supply it also has a servo cable so that we can send the pedogram signal to it and it will determine the speed of the motors before you put up every motor and esc on your frame always check whether the esc and the motor works correctly if you put on your motors on your frame and you find that it is faulty then in some cases you cannot claim the warranty in any of the quadcopter the two of the motors are clockwise and two of are anti clockwise so we need two ESCs that runs the motor in the clockwise and two ESCs that runs the motor in the anti clockwise so we know that these motors are of anti clockwise motors so just lay them like this and this motor like this the sticker should turn on to connect motor with the ESC connect the first wire of the motor to the first wire of the ESC second wire of the motor to the second wire of the ESC and the third wire of the motor to the third wire of the ESC for the anti clockwise motor you have to use a servo tester this is a servo tester you can see in the ESC wire one of this is black this is the ground and the middle one is the red wire which carries 5 volt from the BC of the ESC and this orange color wire is the signal wire so just having like that plug this in the servo tester put the servo tester in its lowest position it doesn't have a t connector so just i will plug the red wire to the red one black wire to the black one you can hear a beep sound in the motor this means it is okay the motor is spinning and by putting your hand you can notice the direction of the motor so it is rotating anti clockwise so silver tops are of anti clockwise motors so they need to rotate anti clockwise so they are rotating in the anti clockwise so it is okay now so this motor is also okay by doing this, you will find if the esc is okay and the motor is okay so my both esc and motor are okay i will have same test with the another anti clockwise motor and another yeah. esc all the wiring is same as before so by doing this i will only check if the motor runs correctly and the esc works fine for the third motor which is clockwise motor the wiring is a bit different so the first wire of the esc goes to the third wire of the motor and the third wire of the esc goes to the first wire of the motor the middle one of the esc goes to the middle one of the motor so only difference is that if you connect the wires like previously this motor will also rotate in the anti clockwise if you find your motor is rotating in the anti clockwise then just take out the last two wires motor and it does then the direction will be okay you will hear a beep it means all things is okay This also rotates. So I have all of these two motors here. They all run correctly. So I will keep them in one side. 
and this is my frame this is DJ F450 frame I will be using X frame here I will place the Arduino copter also known as APM so this will be the heading this will be the heading and here we have four motors two motors this one is the first motor this one is the second motor this one is the third motor and this one is the fourth motor so how it rotates it this rotates in the this rotates And the opposite to them always rotate is the same. So this is anti-clockwise. So this also rotates in the anti-clockwise. This rotates clockwise. So I will keep black side front and the red side back. If you see this is clockwise motor, I will place the clockwise motor. Black motor over here, anti clockwise motor over here, again clockwise motor in this red arm, and again anti clockwise motor over here. So, this is how motors are placed in their frame. So, I will keep this on the motor side counter clockwise. We have all our linear, okay. This is ESC. And this is motor. Motor the this is the upper part ESC which which we have sticker over here. This is the upper part. So and in the clockwise motor, this is the sticker part. This one connects to this. This one and this one connects to this. And goes like that. So this is the motor. So after noting it down. I will unplug all the motors and after disconnecting all the motors and ESCs, I will connect them to the frame. I screw up all of the motors. I will put second clockwise motor next to the first clockwise motor. Then after I will put the counterclockwise motor on the right red arm. Attaching the last anti-clockwise motor on the frame. So as I said, this is clockwise, this is anti-clockwise, this is clockwise and this is anti-clockwise. So this is clockwise. You can also recognize my its cap. This is black cap. Black cap means this. This is clockwise motor and the silver cap means it is anti -clockwise. If you have the cheap motor and ESC, do not cut the bullet connectors. If you have the branded motors and ESC, cut the wire to reduce the weight on trough. Wires through this small hole. So I recommend you to first not put this signal cable inside this. Only put this inside. So you can put this this facing upward or downward. I recommend you putting this upward because the air from the blade pulls the transit I will put all of the motor wires below the frame. So I have excessive wire here. I always recommend you to cut the wires because adding more weight to your drone is not a good idea. So I will be placing my ears over here. So I need to cut approximately this much of my 
I will take the length of this wire as a reference and cut all of the ESC wires accordingly. After shortening the length of all the power wires of the ESCs, I will remove a bit of insulation in order to solder it to my frame. Fill the wire with a lot of solder. Soldering the power wires from the frame is bit difficult, so I will unscrew all of its arm and then solder the power wires. Fill all the big solder pads with the solder on all of its four arms. Be sure you connect red wire of the ESC to the plus terminal and black wire of the ESC to the minus terminal. I will use this black wire over here. Be sure that you have a very good solder ring. If this thing comes out during the flight, it will be more expensive. So as you can see, it is a very good solder ring. For the plus, and you can put the wire to the top of it and place it. And place it. You will see a wonderful solder ring. This will not. This is not going to come out during. It. Repeat the same process to solder all of the ESC to the frame. Feel free to watch my other videos on my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any of my videos. Till then, stay creative and I will see you next time.